Okay, for now, let us introduce our induction welding furnace for gold, silver, and copper. It is combined by power supply, furnace body, crucible, and the chiller. Let's check the power connection. It is, the voltage is three phase, 380 watt voltage, and uh, three light lines connect the power. One, there are two grad lines. It's one for power supply, another one for the furnace body to elect for avoiding the electric shock. Let's check the connections. For now, the machine, there are three watt LED lines. One watting LED, chiller into the machine, and the two out LED, and then go back to the chiller. For this line, is the electric connection to the furnace body to realize the motor tilting. Uh, this is the power supply. This tube is the water cooling table for the furnace body connection for cooling the induction coil. Let's come back to the chiller. The chiller has um, two lines. Is water come back? Machine come back to the chiller. Here is the chiller come out to the machine. This one is for filling tap water, filling into filling water into the chiller. So all is the connections. Following, let us introduce uh, operation. Now let's start the operation of the machine. Let's set the crucible. This machine, this crucible is replaceable. It's easy to replace when you finish a new one. Uh, the capacity uh, for this crucible is nearly 60 kilo gold, more or less. 30 to 40 copper and silver, more or less. This is for fixing. For fixing. But now let's set the pulling mouse. It's a graphite material, pulling mouse. It's the connection, make it a check connection here. It's a screws to fix it. Uh, for now, we already fixed uh, the crucible and uh, the mouse. Let's start the operation of the machines. Before start the machine, we must uh, turn on the chiller. Let the cooling start first. Okay, must uh, turn on the chiller, start the cooling first. Then, turn on the power, turn on the power. It's a touch screen and I see many parameters in this one. Later, let's see. It will start automatically. Okay, it shows all the numbers. For now, it just the start is okay. Press start. For, let's pay attention to for this one. If we first time use this crucible, first time to use, we must heat the moisture off need to take two hours or three hours using the power of five kilowatt. Set a five kilowatt. We adjust the power supply. To five kilowatt, it will be enough. It uh, just the uh, heat. The first time use the crucible is a little moisture. We must heat it, keep the moisture off. Dry the crucible, it keep, uh, can make the crucible life longer. Okay, for now we already dry the crucible and uh, replace the, all the crucible for testing. Let's put the material into the crucible for start melting. We take use the uh, copper. Now come here, we start the machine. And uh, for now to maximum, to 100%. This machine is uh, 75 kilowatt. Or like this, up or down, or press 100 percent. It is easy to control. Okay, it will be increased. The so power shows here. Voltage, current, frequency is the heating time. Uh, temperature is useless. For now, this machine don't use the temperature control. Okay, for now, it, the machine, the power will be adjusted to its stem itself automatically according to the crucible. Check 
increase. Some fuse come out. For now, already melt uh, eight minutes more or less. Eight minutes more or less. Here is the uh, tilting control. Tilting control. Uh, 11, 12 minutes to 50 minutes. Maximum 75 kilowatt. For now. Materials start melting. Okay, stop the power and the tilting. Here is the adjust the speed and the tilt like this, control by this. Okay.